Okay then, gents, we take a look at these two swings now. The left-hand one was kind of your before swing. Okay, you can see your feet are into the sand, but I think just because of the depth of the sand you had there, you kind of almost just fell into the sand in some way. So just try to get, when you're in the bunker, a bit more wiggle with the feet. That's the first kind of double, and obviously a wider stance than you had here. So once you've wiggled your feet in with a nice wide base, we want that weight to be a little bit more onto that left foot. And then when you're swinging that club, the key thing or the important thing to remember is that the engine... Uh, your torso, hips and shoulders continue to move. I think the problem was with your setup, you'd often catch the ball a little bit thin or clean. So you can see in this swing and as you go through it, lots of sand taken before the golf ball here. And then because of all that sand, no sort of follow through, the body stopping, head staying down way too long and not much energy at the back of the ball. So you're just sort of chipping it three or four yards in front. The other outcome would that be then if you're just on the next one, then you sort of miss the sand and the ball then whiz across the green like a rocket. So... Getting ourselves in the bunker now, as you can see, sort of here, you were setting up there. We then mentioned by opening this foot out, you can see now we just said put the weight forward. You can see moving your weight now onto that left knee, just bracing yourself so that you're actually going to get your low point now a little bit more nearer the golf ball and make a divot that sort of goes somewhere between those two blue lines either side of the golf ball. So once you're in that better setup now, it's getting the body to move to create more energy. So when the club is swung now, we can see we go back a little bit further. We can come into the sand, enter the sand, a good three, four, five inches beyond the golf ball, and then exit the sand, the same sort of amount on the other side. See the divot there exiting just by that blue line, and then continuing to turn through to play the shot. So you finish with everything now facing the target, as opposed to what you were doing before, stopping in the sand. And I think that was just more a question, just fear of the ball going too far. So with the better setup, Remember those three W's. So we've got W equals weight, wiggle, and a wide stance. So get those three W's in the bunker. Wide stance, weight left, and wiggle those feet in. And then once you're in that position, now just get the energy swing in the club by moving the body better. And I think with the three setup changes that you made there with those three W's, it meant that you were likely to hit the sand almost 10 times out of 10 i think after you made those changes you didn't hit the ball cleanly once so once that starts happening you'll have the confidence now to be able to create this energy by twisting and turning your torso not that kind of fearful swing where you sort of go back and just sort of stop in the sand here now not really much turn at all still kind of staying on your back foot here trying to almost help it out of the bunker so hope that all makes sense any questions obviously give me a shout but i'll see you again soon cheers Jen.